Excuse me, giant golem man. I can't... I cannot go past these goos. And I, I think I'm going to need a hand with it. Because I seem to be very incapable of any things. Need a hand with it. How's it going everyone? My name's Graham and welcome to the brand new game from Runic Games, Hob. Runic is the team that made Torchlight 1 and 2, which came out quite a few years ago. They're action RPG games similar to the style of Diablo. Torchlight 1 was a good filler in between Diablo 2 and 3. It was a good game. Torchlight 2, in my mind, was like a substitute for Diablo 3. It was as good, a third of the price, really incredibly, really well made game. That was like five years ago. And it was three or four years ago that they first announced Hobbs, something like that. I feel like I've been excited about this game ever since then. It's so awesome that it's finally here. It comes out tomorrow. Thank you so much to Runic for sending me a key to this. I'm so excited to see what it's actually about. I feel like they've been very secretive about what this game is actually about. And we're finally going to get to see it here. It's like an adventure puzzle type game with a, a strong focus on visuals and I know a big part of the game is that there's no real dialogue or text. It's the narrative of the game is really revealed to you just by exploring and looking around and seeing seeing what there is to discover around the world. So I'm kind of just learning things a little bit right now. You're just immediately sent off into things. Maybe I can catch this two-legged deer bunny creature. Maybe I can't catch him, but at least I can make him make silly sounds. And in my eyes, that's just as good. What about you? Maybe I can encourage you to go stand on this button? Well, I'll just stand on it myself then. Ah, something that looks like a fist. Right now it seems like I can jump and roll. These are the only real abilities that I have. Whoa, okay. How deadly is everything? How often are things going to attack me? This is the guy who opened up that doorway, so I have to think that he'll be helpful? Hey, he's gonna open up another doorway for me. This is probably like a save point? Maybe there's a bit more to it than that. Be very, very soon for there to be a save point. That guy's already taken off. Don't leave me behind. I need to look around a little bit more first. Hmm. No, I don't seem to have any hidden skills or anything that let me interact with that guy to pick him up or anything. Ooh, but maybe... Maybe I found a different little branch that I can explore and I'll find something useful over here. Uh, not a lot I can do there. I like the look of this grass. It's just silly and simple, but it works well for this really cartoony style they're going for. They found some sort of interesting blend of, like... It reminds me of cell shaded gla graphics, but that's definitely not what they have here. This is something pretty unique. Torchlight had a similar art style, but it seems like they've leaned a little more heavily on the, the cartoony side of things now. Oh, I like the way that you can that it phases you through those trees to keep an eye on the main character there. That's neat. That adds a really cool sense of depth to the map there. It makes things feel a lot more full and populated. Oh, shit. Well, can you help me with that by any chance? Excuse me. Excuse me, giant golem man. I can't... I cannot go past these goos. And I, I think I'm going to need a hand with it, because I seem to be very incapable of any things. You're very helpful. Can you please take care of all of this for me? Yeah, just the more help you can give, the better, really. There's not a lot I can do by myself. And please wait up. I don't want to get left behind, because I don't think I can defend myself very much. We make quite the team, don't we? I just provide encouraging words. You take care of the manual labor. Just let me sneak by if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll let you do all the hard stuff, and then I'll, I'll just slip on past you. How about that? Works for me if it works for you. Hmm. Maybe I can't actually interact with this stuff. I'm really putting, like, a focus on that. These are buttons and toggles, but don't seem to do anything yet. And so I guess I'll kind of ignore... These little things on the ground that may or may not be decorative. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's a button. It's got to be a button, right? It's got like a little fist on it for me to punch. No. <laughs> what a mistake I've made. Luckily, all of this stuff stays open. 
guess I shouldn't have been worried so much about stomp and buttons. There's a whole other direction that I can veer off in over here. I kind of want to poke around here a little bit. Just to see what kind of stuff... Oh, can I be cautious and make my way through the goop? No, it is all closed off there still. So I can't go this way anyways. I thought maybe it would be worth having to look around. Branch out and look at things other than where my big golem friend directly opens up for me. It seems like I'm still kind of stuck going where he wants to go. That's that's just an earlier part of the level. He must have taken off over this way. I fell behind a little bit. I was doing my own thing. I want to want to try and figure a thing a few things out. Oh man, look at this rabbit bird thing. Oh man, it's cool, but that like big scorpion limb or whatever just wound its way up and was definitely getting ready to stab me. Yeah, I'm glad I glad I chose to avoid that. Oh, come on. What do you guys do? When I find an animal just chilling like that, that doesn't run from me, I feel like we have some kind of kinship that I'm going to be able to inhabit your body or something. Rather than just playfully, joyfully chasing you around the map, I, f I felt like there would be something more to it, you know? Man, you need to get better at jumping so you don't have to climb your way up every little teeny tiny ledge that you come across. Whoa. Oh, wait. I just hit start because I was just trying to pause things for a second. I opened up all these abilities tree. This is the inventory. This is the inventory abilities. So I don't have a lot of anything yet. By that I mean absolutely nothing. There's a little thing at the top like that in the right side there, the little golden scarab thing or whatever is like the color of all these bronze decorations and stuff. And I thought I even saw that pattern at one point, but I could be kidding myself. Could just be that that little scarab thing is what I want to see, you know? And convincing myself that there's something special about it when there really isn't. I think that is just a little save icon because there was just a little save in the bottom right there. So I think that must be all that was. And we got all these brambles and there's clearly something something in the corner there that is uh, a violent, actual violent creature. He's just, maybe he's, maybe he's just a gardener. <laughs> maybe he's just trying to open up that Venus flytrap or whatever it is. All right, well, I'm too scared to go over there by myself, and also I can't. Huh. Well, can I just, like, have some of your abilities? Can you teach me how to do some of that? You're, like, some kind of semi-mechanized guy. I think I'm purely just, like, a person-type creature. Like a, a mammal or a, a carbon-based life form not a cool ass golem dude. Oh, come on, man. Can you like reach down and lend me a hand? Or are you gonna run around here and punch this for me? Oh, you're gonna make me go all the way. Ugh. Oh, I see what you've done. It would have been easier to just lift me up or reach down and grab me, wouldn't it have been? Instead, I gotta go along this way. Oh, that's funny. There's like a silly little flower guy that was showing me that this is the way to go. Oh, you're a better jumper than I thought. Here I was criticizing your jumping. That was probably me just not committing hard enough to the jumps to actually pull them off effectively. Oh, good. Good good uh, control over the character. Nice, like, precision on the controls. Nice ability to control it midair and everything. Don't have to worry too much about that. Whoa, you're ugly. But oh, so cool. It's like a giant deer with a duck face. But then also a gross, I don't know, turkey snout or something. Whoa, you got a weird rib cage and weird gangly limbs and stuff. You're like a reverse giraffe with all of the height being the legs. That's mostly how giraffes are too. Oh, what the shit? Get away from me. Did he just steal my flower? Oh, sweet shit. What did he do to my hand? Help me. Help me, girlfriend. Don't cut off my hand. Oh, you dick. Why? <laughs> no. Need a hand. I was just, I was just having fun with my golem friend, looking at little creatures and stuff. There was that cool giraffe dude. Oh shit, it's this like infecting stuff. There was a definitely like a bloody blood and bone limb on the ground there. I'm definitely flesh and blood. And that, that, that guy just chopped up. I'm not a robot the way this guy is or whatever the hell he is. Shit. At least I know that this guy's on my side fully. He's not, I'm, we don't just happen to be going the same direction. This guy's actually, he's looking out for me. He's got my back here. 
Whoa! Is he ripping off his arms so that we can, like, have that in common so we can be our armless buds together? That's so touching. You're so... That's so kind of you, Robot Man. Now, uh, we... We are technically in the beta, but the game does come out tomorrow. So this is barely the beta. This is as little beta as it could possibly be. But do keep it in mind if there's a weird glitch or something. Damn it. Holy shit! He gave me his arm? How the hell did he fuse those together? That guy's a miraculous doctor. But also, I thought his limb, his limbs are way, way bigger than mine. Oh, that guy's the nicest. But what happened to him? Where did he go? Wow, is it a little heavy? You're kind of going to have to have, like, a limp dragging that thing around with us now? Where did he go? Oh, I feel, like, guilty. I actually feel sad that this guy had to give up his arm for us. Really, it seems like we were just being a little bit reckless. You, I don't know how young this character is, but you gotta know that the world's like a dangerous place. You can't just go... I don't know, but we were in such a peaceful little meadow. Maybe, maybe it was right to let your guard down. Hold, hold sprint to climb faster? I have a sprint button? Oh, look at that. Look at that. He does have a sprint button. Hey! That's... Oh, he just took us right down to where we were before, practically. Oh, X to do what? To... Oh, okay, you can grab onto things. All right, so now we can drag this along here, and it'll be just a little bit little bit of a quicker way up for us. And jump. <laughs> Crap. There we go. There, you're still good at grabbing ledges. Ah, good. Even though this thing is super heavy, it hasn't totally slowed him down. Okay, now we can start punching these different things. What, what, I imagine, I imagine I can. I guess maybe I have to learn, like, a ground pound skill or something first. Huh, yeah, maybe I don't have what it takes to be able to do that yet. But, I did just remind myself that there is this here. Can I do anything with that? Oh, come on. Really? Alright, I guess there's just kind of the one set way it wants us to go for now. Thought I was being clever, kind of discovering something a little bit early. But uh, we're pretty ability-less right now. Screw all you! You took away my arm and then by proxy took away the world's kindest soul's arm. That giant robot guy didn't want to do anything but help. He was just being a good friend. I never asked him for it and he never had to be asked. He's just a good guy. Now I don't know where he is and he's out there all on his own somewhere and it's, it's stupid Goo's fault. I feel very emotionally invested in getting rid of this goo now. Jump. Jump over the bushes. Take a shortcut to defeating the goo. I know we have it in us. I know we can do it. Oh, you're there. Come on, we need to talk, buddy. You went too far. You did too much. Now I have two arms. One of them is better than my regular arm. You have one arm. I need to visit with whoever this is first. Oh, good. You're not leaving. I don't want him to leave. I want this guy to stick around. I want to, like, return the favor at some point. Give the arm back if I can at some point. Or find him a new arm or something. Oh. Oh, I thought this was, like, gonna be an old sage wise man who can help me out. Nope. An old dead adventurer. Well, that's a little bit depressing now, isn't it? Oh, I thought I was gonna have a sword now. Uh, that's not what that was. I did not find a sword. I found one of 12 pieces of who knows what? 12 pieces of the hob? Am I hob? Is the big, helpful, gentle giant a hob? It's all a little unclear. I see this little opening here. Nope, it is nothing. It is a wall. <laughs> I wanted to look around a little bit, but I also don't want to, I don't want to go too far away from this guy. I don't want him to think that I'm just piecing out and being like, uh, man, I, I gotta help him. Oh, he motioned for me. He was like, get in here. Get in here. You got one of my arms. The least you can do is half the work from now on. Uh, yeah. I want this guy to stick around. Oh, pound it. Oh, he's giving me pieces of a sword or a key or something. What is this? They look like pieces. It looked more like a key than a sword, but I kind of I kind of thought maybe he was giving me a sword. Maybe I don't need a sword if I have this big arm. What could possibly be down here? Somewhere to fix my arm, maybe? Was this just a temporary? Whoa! That's not what I thought was going to happen at all. 
Uh, um, <laughs> well, there's only the one thing. Is this like a change room? Could I have just changed? Is that all that that was? Hmm. I thought it was about to take me forward to a new level or something, but I wanted to investigate whatever this table was first before I did that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I have zero of whatever this needs, and I don't have a sword still, so a sword combo wouldn't do me much good. Add a third, more powerful combo attack. Sprinting attack, improved rolling dodge, and mechanical shield. Cannot acquire any of those things right now. This is some kind of forge, maybe? It's kind of kind of what it reminds me of with this big bubbling, bubbling lava area and stuff. Unless this is some kind of teleporter. Whoa! Oh, he's putting he's putting the pieces in, uh, and he's like reforging a sword. It is a forge. Oh, that's dope! Thank you, thank you. Dude, that guy helps help me out again. He's giving me pieces of the sword. I can get my first sword. Ah, oh, cool. And it's like it's like a like a steampunk sword or something. It's like a sword made out of different parts. It's not very sharp. Whoa, that was cool though. That's rad. How's that? How's that weight feel? Gotta check out that balance, hey? Oh, nice, nice. Oh, look at that now. Cool, 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 cool. But I probably, I probably don't have any gears still. No, I do not. I got none of that. Maybe if I have different weapons, this is where I would switch out weapons. No, nothing on here shows weapons. I have no idea. Different arms? Maybe I get different arms throughout things? That'd be weird. If that's the case, then I vote we give this one back. I don't want to keep this arm like a minute longer than necessary. I want to give it back to that guy if that's at all an option at any point. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's just hanging out out here. He's got like a flower growing on his chest. He's just playing with birds and stuff. You're the best, man. Let's... I was gonna high five. How do I put away the sword? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. There we go. High five? Can you can you five? Ah, there seems to be no such way to do anything. Let's see if I can bash bushes. Oh, cool. These like broken up looking ones. I, that was kind of my assumption because they looked a little bit broken. That they would be bashable. There, look at that. I'm opening up new paths for myself. What? Are you not coming? Oh, I might just quit the game right here then if you're not going to come with me. That's too upsetting for me. I can't emotionally handle that. Let's just hang out together. You and I, buddy. I'm just gonna hug your leg and we'll just we'll be pals forever well next time guys presumably this guy is either gonna stay behind or come on a harrowing dark emotional journey with me where he'll be killed those are the two options he either stays here and lives out his peaceful life or he comes with me and he dies that's my prediction for this at least and if that's what the two options are as I've arbitrarily decided on my own as I've predicted if those are the options, then I hope he decides to stay behind, and we'll just we'll just have to go adventuring on forward without him. Sad. What a sad day. But I'm so excited that this game is finally here. You guys can check it out on Steam tomorrow. It's, I think, about $22. It was around there when I saw it. Definitely go check it out for yourself. Looks like it will be a very interesting experience. I'm interested to see how... Uh, I'm already impressed with how emotionally invested I am in some of this stuff without any real story or dialogue being presented to me. So that's very promising for where this is going to lead beyond this. And look at that. I thought I had just found another way to go through things. I was wrong. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you again soon.